Sitting in the apartment, looking at the views at the time of day where daylight changes to dusk is a magnificent experience at Yukio. We love the location, fronting Percy Street, High Street and Porter Street in the suburb of Paran, one of Melbourne's most coveted neighbourhoods. The history is interesting on the side. It's actually an amalgamation of an old warehouse which housed an old recording studio and a badge factory and two adjoining homes on the corners. It's the combination of the three individual sites which gives its triple street frontage an abundance of natural light and view lines from the city to the bay and all the way to the Dandenongs. Yukio is a true example of the live, work, play concept. The residential component was split into full level or half floor homes. That is a unique attribute and a product that hasn't been seen in Paran before. Our creative process in K2LD is to approach the site as a unique project. Each site has got its own persona and character. The inspiration of the design came from the Yukio artist. The Yukio artist lives life like there's no tomorrow. The building is constantly viewed in motion from the tram, the cars, the train line, and you could see the building response to that. Because of the architecture, the form going in and out throughout the building, you get a whole lot of different light levels. So in a balcony condition, for example, um, you feel like you have something over your head, allowing that sort of sensation of floating again. We try to maximise the views by creating large window openings and frame openings, allowing people to experience the views of the surrounding. This 270 degree view allows the person to come in and experience the great expanse and also the sensation of floating, echoing the ideas of the Yukio artists. My name's Marissa Hang and I'm the Senior Interior Designer at K2LD Architects. I was a project lead and also designer on Yukio Paran. I was involved with the UK penthouse from the earliest stages and together with the client and the resident, we developed the design to be fully accessible and tailored to their needs and aspirations. The elegant interiors are a mixture of luxury fittings and finishes such as wolf appliances, Sussex taps, stone splashbacks, textured glass and custom fluted joinery. Using the art form UKE, it became the basis of how we curated each detail to be a nod to the art style, with the use of the defining line containing vivid textures and contrasting of the softness of the materiality, whether it be the dappled light through the fluted glass defined with the black frames, or the intense veining of the Corte d'Azur marble in contrast to the darker timber materiality. These moments throughout the apartment are abundant and flow through the design. The building exterior, visibly composed of intersecting lines of mullions, panels and fins, softened by the green walls that will grow over time and soften the architecture further. The main challenge in designing the penthouses was in working with each buyer to customise the floor plan and really understand the requirements and meet the requirements, but not just the current ones, but also their future ones, ageing gracefully in place. I'm most proud of the movement and the animation of the built form that has come through and is quite evident, showing itself very clearly to anyone that sees it. And the other thing that I'm really most proud of is its ability to signify the arrival of the Chapel Street area. With this development at Chapter Group, we try and exceed our previous one. With Yukio, we feel this exemplifies that approach.